Today, a federal judge heard arguments over whether a county clerk can use her religious beliefs as a reason for not issuing marriage licenses. Brown County Clerk Kim Davis stopped issuing marriage licenses after the U.S. Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage. But the ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of four couples. Our Victor Puente was in today's hearing in Ashland. Before the hearing began, supporters on both sides filled the sidewalk outside of the federal courthouse in Ashland. I absolutely respect her belief system and her right to have that belief system. I don't believe that she can impose her religious beliefs on anyone in the county by refusing to issue marriage licenses. You know, this, this affects me and my family as a citizen of the United States. I mean, my rights are being eroded as well as hers. During the hearing, three of the plaintiffs involved in that lawsuit testified that they had tried to get marriage licenses on June 30th and were denied by Round County Clerk Kim Davis's office. They said they tried to get the county judge executive to issue the licenses instead, but were told that was only an option if the clerk was absent. Attorneys for Davis said the couples could have gone to a surrounding county to get those licenses. This case was about targeting a person of faith to make a point that everyone must comply with the agenda to impose same-sex marriage on all of America. That's a step the plaintiffs said they shouldn't have to take. I went downtown to get my license for marriage at the place where I do my other county business. The hearing lasted about two hours before it was stopped to continue sometime in the coming weeks. The biggest reason these hearings will last another day is because Davis wasn't in court today. ACLU attorneys said they had served her through the mail, but so far they couldn't verify that she had received them. We issued summonses and service of process all at the same time to the county, which you heard uh, was served on Thursday. So my guess is that uh, she's got her summonses sitting in the mailbox. Cannon says he hopes his clients, two gay couples and two straight couples, will be able to marry by August. In Ashland, Victor Puente, WKYT. The Casey County clerk has also refused to issue marriage licenses since the Supreme Court ruling.